What's going on, everybody? Prince is back with another episode of Shadow Pixel Dungeon. And we're continuing the series that we have going on about the current updates and reviewing it. However, we are now in the, the dark caves, the deep caves on the third tier of the dungeon, which I believe is like five or six in total. Nope, there's just five. Never mind, there's just five. Okay, so we got some chests here. We can actually chest to see if there's a mimic. As I explained in my previous video, basically, you can tell if there's actually a mimic now, which is good. That's not good. I could try to chance it and run in the water right there, but I don't want any of my scrolls to burn, so I'm gonna have to sacrifice a potion. Mind vision, these aren't the most useful potion in the world, so we're gonna have to do that and be extra careful so that doesn't happen. We'll do that, and there you go. Now, I'm using the Ring of Force in case you're wondering why I have no weapon. No, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I have played this game numerous times. We cannot get to that door unless we activate the trap. So, for the heck of it, there you go. We don't have the key. How unfortunate. Just making sure there's no extra traps here. They gotta worry about. Okay. Oh, great. That's fun. I'm just gonna grip my teeth and run through it. <laughs> Yep, the key is in here, as a matter of fact. Torch. Upgrade scroll. The no brutes. They were also reworked a little bit. Before, how it used to be is you would fight them, and they did pretty moderate damage, above moderate damage, when, while fighting them. Upon their near death, if you're about to kill them, they would get enra enraged, basically angry at you, and do extra damage. It was pretty simple, mechanic how they work. Now, they're actually a little bit more difficult to fight. Now, when you're about to kill them, this bat is not helping. There he goes. When he dies, it's kind of like the berserker for the warrior when he dies. If the warrior is wearing his seal, and there's other conditions, which I cannot remember off the top of my head, but if the warrior is wearing his seal on his armor, and he is at full rage, I believe he will refuse to die for a short amount of time. And then you can recover from that, because if you don't, if he, when, while he's refusing to die, it's pretty much like what's happening to the Berserker. Like, eventually, you can see right here, he's about to die. Like, what I mean, even touching, he just dies. That's pretty much refusing to die, and based on pure rage, you just keep on going. I love that mechanic. But you basically keep on going, but eventually, and this applies to the Warrior, too, including with that Null Brute that we just saw, they will die eventually, because the rage only can get, get you so far. However, if you drink a potion of healing, you will heal and recover, which is good. Now, this also applies to the no brute, as I just shown you guys there. So, okay, that's not good. But, what the heck? Okay, that was a misclick right there. But simply put, yeah, you'll want to watch out for no brutes. They're a much, difficult, much more difficult opponent now. They're not so simple as a kill. Now, when they're actually enraged, I actually don't know how much damage they did because I avoided it. I just straight up, like, when they get enraged, I just run until they die. <laughs> if I can afford to, of course. Now, in my last video, I explained how the No Shaman got reworked. Now, they come wearing different masks. That purple one reduces your accuracy and evasion, which is the hex I was talking about in my previous video. I got the Vaughn kind of low. Let me put that up a little bit for you guys. Yeah, these Nulls, these Brutes, especially, you don't want to mess with them. Yep, he's enraged. I'm going to take a hit, see if, if he does hit me. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> But no brutes, you can still farm for gold. Here's the other shaman. These guys, the original ones, before the update, all they did was shoot lightning bolts at you. They were kind of annoying. Especially if you couldn't see them, but they could see you. It just got really annoying. That's why the rogue is my favorite class. If you're about to go down, you cloak. Also, you get that surprise attack. Like so. But now there's two different kinds of shamans. And also, I forgot to mention in the prison, once you defeat the first boss, the goo, and you go into the prison levels, there's a new type of enemy that replaces the no shaman for how it used to be. Now, the D there's a new enemy called the DM100, which basically operates the same as the no shaman, how he used to operate. And the no shaman's got to rework themselves. Oh boy, okay. But yeah, they got to completely work the no shamans, and there's different varieties of them. This also applies to the DM300 boss himself. The DM300 used to be one of a kind, 
and the lore behind the game itself suggested that the DM300 was a guardian. Now, the current lore with the new updates, which by the way I enjoy myself, it shows that the DM300 was one of many guardians. So throughout the caves, you can actually find other DM, not 300, but downgraded versions of the DM300. So, for example, you could find a DM100, like I explained earlier, in the prison. A DM200, which I believe that's in the cave. This cave, which is pretty much the exact same character model as the boss himself. So, DM200 is pretty much the same as a DM300, except a little bit smaller. Now, the DM200 does have a weakness. It is pretty strong. It shoots toxic gas at you if it cannot reach you. And the reason why I won't be an able... I cannot speak today, but the reason why I cannot reach you is because if you go down these small hallways, like you pass these doors, and wow, that boot did considerable damage. Anyway, so if you get behind these doors, the DM200 can actually not fit here, which is an interesting little mechanic. So don't think you're safe though behind like some skinny hallway like this. Like if you're at the end of the hallway and they can see you, they're gonna shoot toxic gas at you. Which I mean, does make sense if they can't damage you, so you're not completely safe. But as long as you get behind a door, you'll be fine. If you want to like avoid fighting them and you got to heal and you get behind the door and fight them, they do considerable moderate damage themselves. They're not overkill, thankfully, because you do find quite a few of them as you get deeper. And the DM 200s themselves, you only find deeper. So wherever you find the cave spinners, which they're found in the deeper levels of the caves, that's where you're gonna find them. Now, before we leave this level, I do want to go in the shop real quick because I do have some gold I want to use to get. I believe I've already bought all the potions of healing. But I'm going to see what scrolls the shopkeeper has. Did not mean to be that. I was also misclick. Unlike most people who play Shattered, I, you guys can probably tell that, like, I go through the game really fast. I can almost speed run it. But I'm one of those players I want to use every advantage they have. So, like, <laughs> I take no chances. I go with safety. These potions are unidentified. I want to get them. Unfortunately, I doubt I have the currency to get them. I'm going to keep this for when I get better armor. Because level 3 male armor isn't going to go that far. Nope, the ring is better. <laughs> oh, I want to get something though. Oh, I guess I'll get the bomb. I mean, if I kill the DM300, I can combine the shards with the bomb. For a devastating bomb, which I can use for end game fights. Alright, that's not good. Let me reposition myself. Alright, the weakness shouldn't affect... Okay, he's in a rage. I'm going to try to avoid that. I might have to cloak so the shaman doesn't kill me. There we go. Also, the uh, epic armors for all heroes have been reworked completely. And oh boy, I'm gonna take heavy damage. Okay, that's good. Potion healing. Wow, we have tons of them. I didn't even know how much we had. So, like I was saying, epic armors has also been reworked. I forgot to mention that in my previous video. Epic armors now are actually. Excuse my language. Sorry for. Funny if you guys don't appreciate that, but they are so badass now. Okay, <laughs> they are so awesome, and they're actually really fun to use. Now, how it used to work before, if, in case you guys didn't never really made to the, after you know, in case you guys never beated the King of Dwarves, how they used to work is you can use a special ability with epic armor. You can apply it to any armor that you had, scale armor, even leather armor, which I don't recommend, but you could do that if you want. Most likely, players put it on plate armor. However, if you were to put on any kind of armor. It would keep all the stats of your current armor, but then it will pretty much give a new design look, like how it does in the main menu when you're making a new character. The epic armor will give you the, this look, which I thought was pretty cool, because it looks pretty badass in my opinion. And it also give you a special ability. Now, how this ability used to work is you can use any special ability for every any given class at the cost of a considerable chunk of your health. Now... When I say considerable, I'm talking about like it will take like one fourth of your health, which is pretty insane. Like if you're a hero character, with like five, let's say 600 health, it would straight up take off 150 right then and there. It was pretty ridiculous, and it was like that for a long time. And me personally, I thought it was kind of balanced because it was really OP. Like for example, the rogue, he would be cloaked and turn invisible. He would smoke bomb, and whoever was like directly next to him would get blinded for a few turns, which is really useful for life and death situations. But at the same time. If you're in a life and death situation, you cannot afford to lose that health. So it's like, you rarely use the epic ability to simply put, you barely used it. And the times you did, it was really for fun. You never really used it out of like, 
for the game itself. So now, luckily, it's finally been reworked, so now it's basically like a charge, kind of like a wand. Now, to use the ability, it's like a rechargeable ab ability. However, it's not as overpowered, luckily. So, it has been balanced and reworked, thankfully. So now you can actually use the epic armor ability. The warrior's ability, I believe, I'm not sure if that has been reworked, because I've not made it this far as the warrior yet. But pretty much a heroic leap. That's pretty much it. Basically, similar to the rogue's uh, shadow bomb ability, the warrior will do a heroic leap wherever he lands with a mobilized enemy momentarily, which is pretty badass. I love it. And the warrior's epic armor, fire. Now, I do talk fast, guys. I do apologize. If you cannot keep up with me, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I will gladly answer them to the best of my knowledge. Now, my personal current favorite class is the Rogue. The fact that he can find these traps, which in this game, the deeper you go in the dungeon, the more deadly the traps you are. I'm pretty sure all the other old players out there <laughs> can agree with me that if you fall in the wrong trap in like the demon halls, it's over. <laughs> oh man, it is over. Traps early game, like a dart, just a regular dart, like in the sewers, no big deal. Don't even gotta worry about it, don't even think about it. Late game, you already know, they get deadly. So, that's why I prefer the rogue, because he can find these traps. Okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Hmm. Identify it. Is it cursed? Yep, it's cursed. Okay, so I'm not going back up to find the shopkeeper. One, I don't have money. And two, even if I did, I'm too lazy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is, first of all, I'm going to try to set up that fire trap so I can go through that door and see what's back there. I might get caught on fire if I do. Oh, well. Nope, no, I didn't. Yeah, here's a cave spinner. Hopefully, he just goes past us. Hopefully. I don't... He should see us. No, no, he didn't. Wait a few turns. There's a... No, brute. Now, how... What are the strengths and weaknesses of these new enemies? This is it all being reworked. You're probably asking. Because a lot of them have been re reworked, especially the later levels, like I already pointed out earlier. The no brutes. It's pretty simple. They do considerable damage. As long as you have decent armor, like, I got level 3 male armor. That's all you really need. You'll be fine. I mean, look at me. I'm taking, like, no damage. And I know I have the glyph, glyph of entanglement, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> but once they're enraged, just, just walk away like this, and they literally die. You get the XP and the gold. Simple as that. Really no problem. The cave spinners, I forgot to mention, they've been reworked as well. Holy. Okay. <laughs> but the cave spinners have also been reworked. They're not actually... a pretty threatening now if you try to run from them they will shoot a web in front of you where you're going they will pretty much predict where you're going and they will attempt to stop you and also you can now no longer throw weapons through their webs if they have like a web in front of you it's like almost a, a wall of sorts you can throw your weapon and it will destroy the web after a few throws however you'll need a considerable amount of thrown said item to actually break through the web and once you break through it you're free but i mean at a cost. We got some plate armor here. If we could get to it. We can do that? Okay, that works. It's cursed. We'll identify it. Level 1 plate armor. That's pretty good. That could be our late game. We got 5 upgrade scrolls. I'm just hoping I don't get catch on fire. One of them burns. I'm trying to save them. For a late game tier weapon. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for tier 4 or 5. But right now this ring is doing me good. Yeah, 736. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, it gets no bonus like additions like accuracy. Yeah, see, he shot web trying to block my pathway. I was trying to get that critical hit on him. I'm poisoned, so hopefully he doesn't spit out webs. There we go. All right, so I gotta eat food now. Just heal up. There we go. Hmm. Now I am gonna keep recording this and get a rather long video until I get to the DM 300. Because I am talking as I go about the current updates. Because the cave is when you start noticing the changes. Like you guys saw there, the cave spinner. They're a lot more intelligent now. And they were actually a bigger threat. Here's the first DM200. Now, as you guys can see, when it approaches... Okay, well, there's the toxic gas. <laughs> but as you can see, he saw me. He's not pursuing me because he cannot fit through the door. But he will camp there. So it's kind of hard to ambush attack these guys. Especially if you're not a rogue. What I would recommend is look in the room that they currently are. And if you can... Run around, try to hide behind obstacles and chests, and try to get that critical hit. If you cannot, the best thing you can do 
is to try to land the first hit overall. That's all you really can do. It's going to be hard to critical hit those guys, simply given the fact that they cannot fit behind doors. So do keep that in mind. It can't work in your favor, but also against you, depending on how you look at it. Just keep that in mind. Don't touch me. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, but how to counter the case spin? Now, this is a little more complicated. It's pretty much as simple as take them on. Preferably with magical wands if you don't have any. It's not the end of the world. You will be fine. And that was a misclick. That is pretty obvious. Yep, wasting some cloak. Whatever. Okay, but pretty much go toe to toe with them. And if you get poisoned, they're going to run and they will spit out webs. So I recommend using pretty much the wands I currently have on me right now. Wands of. I don't know what this wand is called. I've not played in so long. Holy heck. Wand of Blast Wave and Wand of Fire Blast. Other wands like Wand of Lightning. And the Ice Wand can work too, but I, don't, I haven't tested it yet because this is all new content, so I don't know if um, it will get past that web. Yeah, that's a pain in the butt. It's not looking good. I think I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. This will go around the entire room. Okay. I don't want to fight these guys two on one. I don't want to use any charges on my cloak. I might not have a choice. That's a gripping trap. Okay. Hmm. What I love about this game is that there's no pressure. You can take your time and think about what you're going to do. Like right now, I can't just cloak and wait till one leaves. But I'm trying to think of a different strategy and save my cloak use. Hmm. Is he stuck? I don't think he's stuck. It doesn't say he is. So I'm going to... Hmm. Potion of haste. I'm going to drink that. And just run for it. Like so. And they cannot touch me. In fact, I'm going to get a little cocky here and open this chest. Javelin's not really too useful. But, not bad. I will put a seed of blind weed. I'll put a dream foil. So they one will fall asleep and pretty much lock them in here. And that son of a biscuit got me. But he's asleep, so it doesn't matter. That brute, however, he's smart. Now, what I'm going to do is a big game of if he comes after me. If he doesn't, that's fine too. <laughs> There's one room here. There's game 200, and wow, okay. We have a long sword. That's a tier 4. I prefer a tier 5, but a longsword will definitely do nicely. That does how much? 4, 25, 7. This is stronger, but it's a level 2 ring. To be fair. Can I hit him? Okay, you block that. That's not going to be much good. Got a critical hit. I'm poisoned. Yeah, I got to take a potion of healing, unfortunately. I don't want to, but I don't want to. Yeah, DM200s are easily killed. As long as you have the proper materials, you'll be fine. Just don't go in there with cloth on unless you're doing the challenge. You've been, uh, if you're doing that challenge, then good luck. <laughs> All I gotta say is, so he wants me to kill a bat. Okay. This quest, each tier of floors in the dungeon has like its own manager quest that you could do. Oh. Um, this quest is probably the one you could do and not be punished so much the other quest you'll want to do like the ambitious imp quest if you don't do that you won't have the final shop for the demon halls which you do need because they sell torches and potions of healing even though they're, the potions are hella expensive but i recommend doing it so we're gonna try to find a bat and you don't have to uh once you do this quest all it really does is combine two of the same items and they cannot be cursed and they both have to be identified so it's pretty Eh, I guess it's not bad. It's a it's a free upgrade pretty much. But don't go out of your way trying to do his quest. Like if you don't do it, it's not gonna punish you that bad. And it's only good if you have two of the same gear. If you don't, it's pretty much useless. You identify that long sword. I could use one of my scrolls on my ring, but I want to get a weapon, like a reliable re weapon that has accurate, better accuracy than me just using my fist. So a good example will be like the Warhammer has good accuracy. I would definitely use that. If I can't find a bat though, I'm not gonna bother. I'll drop the pickaxe like right then and there. Okay, yeah, this is not gonna go well for me. I think what I'll do, hmm. yeah, I'll just cloak. Yeah, I'm gonna get rooted. I wonder if I could, yeah, I could do that. Okay. I'm still immobilized, but I won't teleport. I'm gonna cloak. I'm straight up stuck in there. I will die. 
That brew's gonna die by the time it gets to me. There we go. Mm, could you not? <laughs> knock him. I'm gonna try to knock. Okay, it's not working. Oh, there he goes. Okay, bye. <laughs> I think we explored this entire floor. But yeah, sorry guys. I got off track. I was explaining the new enemy strengths and weaknesses in the prison level. There is the DM100, which, like I already said, he operates the same as the no sh the no shaman how he used to operate. So all you really need to do here is it's pretty simple. Just get behind a door or behind some way in which that game 100 won't be able to see you. Once you get the surprise attack on him, go toe to toe. The DM 100 does have a melee attack, however, it does not do nearly as much damage as his magic attack. So avoid the magic attack. The melee damage is like nothing. You need you literally need like level one or leather armor, and you'll be fine. Now the DM300 boss has been reworked. He's much harder now, in my opinion. But it's also more fun. <laughs> Which is the point of the game. When I first fought him, I actually did beat him the first time. But it did take a f quite a few turns and close calls with death. To figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do. Which, the DM300 will be in the next level. So hopefully this video won't be too long for you guys. But... I'm not even gonna explain it too much in depth for what you gotta do. I will, you guys will see it as I play. In the, in fact, the floor of the fight the boss is right there. There could be a potion of healing or strength and uh, upgrade scroll, which I do want to grab. That's the only reason why I'm exploring this level. Otherwise, I would just speed run it. Scroll of a charge. We got that, and a remove curse and a key. Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do. Oh, I did that. By <laughs> uh, we make mistakes. Okay. That's fine. How long is that poison going to last? 12 turns? Yeah, that's going to do... Okay. Uh, I meant to do that and do that. <laughs> so I could try to lure the DM200 near it so I could poison it. But it's okay. We get, we pretty much... We stocked about the same potion. Our weapon does considerable damage and we're going to have to get out of here. Great. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like that. Free. Well, I went for that gas to go out. Okay. Oh, there's some barricades over there. I will explore those once I go through here. I'm going to burn this guy since he decided to freaking shoot toxic gas at me. Actually, no, I'm going to go towards him. I don't want him to hit me with it. It's going to suck. There's a brute. There he goes. Well, I might drink that before I go and fight the boss. It might be a little bit of a waste because I'm not that low on health. Okay, never mind, I might die. <laughs> wow, he died instantaneously. Also, another little tip while fighting the no brutes. If you get a critical hit on one, not, not a critical hit, excuse me, a surprise attack off a no uh, brute, and he dies, but then he gets enraged, you can actually hit him again for another surprise attack for a bonus. Okay, I don't have any fire potions, but here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I don't need this pickaxe, so it's not really my problem. There you go. <laughs> you can actually blow up the barricades, the bomb. Like that, and then boom. So potion of strength and upgrade. That's all I really wanted from this floor. So now I think we're ready for the boss. Yeah, so we're going to satisfy our hunger and heal ourselves with the well of health. Because we really probably not going to need it otherwise. This DM200 is going to be annoying. In fact, I'm just going to outbrute it because I'm literally about to drink a well of health. It doesn't matter as long as I don't officially die. There we go, full health. And I forgot to explore this area. Trying not to take too much damage. Alchemy room. I actually needed one of these. I wanted to make a... What was I going to make? I forgot. Oh, yeah. I remember. Okay. I need one of these. Toxic essence. You drink this, you'll be you'll be pretty much immune to toxic gas and poison. And will be consistently spreading toxic gas as a I need it. There's another one I wanted to make. What was it? Right. Here's, here's what I'm going to do. Do that. What room do... I don't need this. I will do that. All right. Then I'll get this, like that, Infernal Brew. We need that as well for the future. And I got three. I want a potion of haste that's gonna help a lot in this fight. You will see how later. Hmm. Stone of Flux would be more useful than that scroll. What if I do this? I don't know what this makes. It doesn't make anything. 
magical. These are, you want to make these later game. Instead of using a scroll upgrade in your god armor, you'll want these in game because you're most likely ha gonna have enchantments on your gear. And using a scroll upgrade, there's a chance depending on the, well, hi the higher the level basically, the more likely the enchantment will be removed. And if you don't want that, you'll make those magical infusions, which will in turn prevent that enchantment from being removed. But it, other than that, it operates just like a scroll of upgrade. And now it can also burn like a scroll of upgrade. So do keep that in mind. Alrighty, we're gonna fight the boss now. Like I told you, the room has been completely reworked. It looks a lot more cool in my opinion. Once you walk away, you're sealed off. And, well, yeah, you're, you're pretty much stuck in here. You're locked in. Now, here's the DM300. He's literally the same model as the DM200, but bigger. There he is, I see him. Hello. So you can pause the video right now and read all that. But I'm not gonna read it, because I already read it. I already know what to do. Hmm, I think we shut this off with a... Inferno brew, but no, there's water right there, so that's probably not a good idea. So, do you have anything to chip damage on him? Yep, we got some javelins. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna cloak for that because you do get paralyzed. Try to keep him off of these exposed wiring because that does buff him up and make him stronger and heal him, I believe. But bottom line, it buffs him up, so you don't want that. And he just went on one. Okay. Yep, this is why I love the rogue. If you about to do this attack damage, you'll wanna well there's nothing you can really do, you're pretty much gonna get stunned. So I do that. So I close I just I still do take the damage from the uh Yeah, he's doing some damage actually. Luckily he doesn't move all the faster than you do, so you can actually stay away from him. Now this is where things get interesting. It says uh right here, sparks erupt all around you. There seem to be gravity somewhere. Now this probably had me confused when the first time I played. All you have to do, really, is look at the sparks and see where they're going. You can clearly see the sparks are moving in this corner down here. So now, the DM300 is now entering a mode known as... I forgot what the mode's called, but basically, he is doubling his speed by 200%. And attack... I don't think a damage. No, he's just increasing his speed, so he can easily catch up to you. So now he's entering right now. That's why he's not moving. He's charging up. So now look, supercharge complete, operating at 200 power. So now he's much faster, and as you can see, he's catching up new considerable damage. That's where the potion of haste comes in, but I don't need to use it yet. So I'm just gonna brute the damage. Now, luckily he cannot reach you here, but he can still shoot his toxic gas. I'm not gonna play knock knock with him. He's coming for us, actually. So here, as you can see, this is the power cell, pretty much, let's call it, that you need to destroy. Now, while you're near it, it actually does have a pattern for what level of electricity it shoots. So you want to be careful. Once you destroy it, he's back in normal mode and you can fight him again. Do not let him on that thing. I think he just, yeah, he went on it. Okay. So now we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him for a little bit. He, okay. I think we can avoid that, actually. Yeah, we did. Okay. Let's knock him that just to piss him off. <laughs> we will get some fishing. This ain't gonna do much, but it's something. Sorry about that. Turbo armor, so yeah, we can take a little more hits. There's no avoiding this one. Wait, actually there is. Maybe there is ways to avoid without cloaking, but I still like to cloak because I get that surprise stack on him. Hmm. All right, he's doing some damage. I'm going to drink one of my special potions. Elixir of Rejuvenation. Simply put. Oh God. I'm not sure how much the heals actually. Jeez. I want to be careful. Yeah, so it doesn't heal you too much. However, it does. I'm gonna have to uncloak him so he's easy. Yeah, if he gets on the exposed wire, he, he gets to shield himself. So you don't want that. Can I burn him? I did not mean to search. Oops. Okay, I, I screwed up bad. I'll be fine, but still, I'm gonna use up a lot more resources. Let's get him out here. Let's just burn him. Yep, he's on fire now. Okay. He's invulnerable. Now you can see the, the electricity is pointing in the lower left corner. So we're going to have to go all the way over there. This is where the potion of haste comes in. You drink this. Now he's going to freaking go in 200% power and come at us. And also, I forgot to mention the DM300 can actually break these little barriers right here. So if you hide behind these, trying to hide from him, it will hold him off, but he can break it eventually. Yeah, see, he's breaking through it. But only the weak ones. But other than that, you should be fine. So Potion of Haste definitely comes through for me. Otherwise, I'd be screwed right now. He'd be on my butt. Try to avoid the... Oh, yeah, there we go. 
you want to be careful because that could kill you. Considering how low I was, I'm not gonna chance it. Healing sucks. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with him. Though. I'm gonna outbrute this. Go toe to toe with him. He's about to die. He's about to die. Where did he go? He just kind of disappeared. He's like, bye. I ain't gonna die. You can't run from me, buddy. And that, my friend, is how the DM300 now works. As long as you know how to fight, you'll be fine. Also, I love how they reworked the new way you enter the new boss levels. In the next video, I will be showing you guys how to fight all the new enemies and the new King of Dwarves. Because now, it is so heckin' deadly, it's not even funny. That is what I wanted for so long. Oh my god, everything is safe now. That's good. Now we need to score remove curse. I will be ending the video with me shopping a little bit. <laughs> at Pixel Mart. <laughs> but I do need to remove curse for my armor and the... This time keep hourglass, the hourglass basically. This was rather a long video, it's a half an hour for God's sake, but I think it's a good video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do be sure to leave a like and leave a comment with either with criticism or positive vibes. I appreciate either one because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to help you guys out while making content because I enjoy doing this, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, be sure to smash that like button and I will see you guys later.